Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are adding another video in the Advanced Geometry series with ComSol Multiphysics. In this video, we will be talking about how exactly we can create this kind of impeller in ComSol Multiphysics with minimum effort. So today we will be talking about few techniques by which you can easily create this kind of geometry. Before we go to today's discussion, I would like to convey the message to you that we have initiated a service where we help you developing your research problem. If you want to avail this service, then write to me in the email ID given in the description box. I'll write back to you and set video call to help you developing your model. So this particular geometry can be created by using part or geometric parts which is an option available with ComSol Multiphysics. So let me start a blank model and then it will be helpful if I just demonstrate all the steps. So I go ahead with the 3D option. I don't take any physics because I am working with geometry only. So if you start this particular model without any physics, any study, then you will be having this many options. So what are the options available? So this is the name of the MPH file. You can anytime rename it. So we have not named anything. That's why it's, it is showing untitled. You have an option global definition. You have option component. You have option definition. You have option geometry. And under the global definition, you automatically have parameters and material. But what we can do, if we right click on global definition, then we see there is something called geometric parts. And under geometric parts, you have 3D part, 2D part, 1D part and the part libraries. So what we will be doing, we will be taking the part libraries and using this we will create the impeller. So the concept is ComSol has already built a few things which are necessary to run your simulation. Suppose you are working with fluid mechanics and in fluid mechanics you are working with turbo machineries. So there are some common turbo machineries which are used in frequent CFD simulations like impeller, like shaft, unit, tanks and all. So those things are already created in ComSol part library and we can actually import them part wise and join them to develop our geometry. So let us go to the part library and in the part library you have different options like you can see in the part library also you have this many options that means under those physics ComSol has already created some part libraries. Today we are working with shaft and impeller and that will be available in the mixture module. So we go to the mixture module and we can see in the mixture module this is the thing of impeller you have other options so those are the radial impellers and I was working with this back swept impeller so I click here yeah you can see that impeller has been chosen so we are not doing anything we are taking this particular part from the available parts in ComSol now what we need you can see there is a hole in between. So why the hole is there? Because this impeller has to be connected with a shaft. Now you may ask me, you don't know the diameter of the shaft, you don't know the diameter of the hole. But the thing is, later on we can actually change those diameters to have our requirement. We can even change the length of the blades, we can change the curvature. So everything can be modified. But this is working like a template. So the template you have taken and then you define your parameters so that you get your original required model. So we again go to the part and then click on part libraries and now we'll be taking a shaft. So this is the impeller shaft. So we click here. You can see this is the 
uh, shaft we have taken and what we can do now we can so I mean those are the things part wise we are choosing here and so in this section we are just bringing in the parts and we will create our original geometry here so for creating the same we click on right click on geometry and then go to the parts you can see those two parts are already available because we have taken in the global geometry parts so now I click on the back swept impeller build selected now you can see once we created under the geometry node you have this many options so that means using this parameter this particular thing is created now what are these parameters so this is the blade angle this is the shaft angle this is number of impeller blades here they have taken six and you can see one two three four five six so you, if you change this what will happen it will automatically change your number of impeller so that can be done later on we can we, we have option to edit those so let me just show number of blades are six here if we do it eight you can see yeah so eight blades created now suppose let us play around with some other parameter say diameter of the impeller shaft so this is 0 0.05 let us increase it by 0 0.07 say make it 0 0.07 look at the geometry you can see the diameter is increased so i was talking about this i mean setup now what i can do i can take other part which is the shaft now i click on build selected so you can see this is not fitting why because i have changed this dimension so this is not fitted so what i can do is that diameter now it is 5 centimeter but i made it 7 so if i made it 7 here also then it will be fitted you can see it has fitted so i created this particular thing so this is like a, a mixture blade and that mixture blade should be put inside a cylindrical or inside a cylindrical object so uh, that cylindrical part is also available in the part library so again if we go to the part library so we'll have the yeah we have flat bottom tank so there are many tanks say we click this one flat bottom tank so you can see that has been chosen now in the geometry we choose this part option you will see it is available here now if you click on build all object so this is created but i guess i have increase the impeller blade diameter so it should not fit so let me look at by doing some transparency yeah it has fitted you see the blades are almost not touching the wall of this particular tank so this is how the tank yeah i mean looks like so it has a shaft and the length of the shaft is not matching with the length of this particular cylinder so let me look at the length of the cylinder first so yeah this is the tank height 1.3 so let us make the shaft height also 1.3 so this is the impeller length is 1 so if we make it 1.3 then it should match you see yeah now it's matching so uh, it can be looked at this way that this particular impeller is touching on the on the upper wall of the cylinder but in reality you don't see this kind of impeller this uh, this part of the impeller should be little bit above so what i can do is so let me make this one itself and let me shift the position what i can do is i can 
shift this particular position yeah let me shift the tank yeah so this from here I can displace so this one is the XY plane so maybe uh, this particular yeah this XY plane suppose let me check if I just make a movement of 0.5 what happens okay so it is going in this direction uh, let me see this one okay this is going here so what about this one okay this particular thing you can see moving in the z direction so if i make it negative then it will yeah but still this is not matching so we should make it by minus 0.3 i guess yeah now it looks like a uh, impeller that is being put inside a cylinder and uh, we may have some liquid inside and it, it may be rotating so this can be rotating so if you want to put the rotating part then what you need to do under definition you need to have moving mesh in moving mesh you have rotating domain so once you choose this you have to choose this particular part uh, for choosing this particular part we can hide this one this one also uh, not this one let me go back okay for the time being what I can do I can just disable it this is not the right way to do but still we can do it yeah then if I go to rotating domain I can choose this particular part I can zoom it and there is one option choose all the there is some option select all yeah if you click on select all it's not working now maybe some issue okay you can choose one by way one by one let me redo it okay so the point is this part can be rotated if this part rotates along with this the blade will also rotate so this is how you can choose the rotating part and you can simulate your thing so in the next in the next video i'll try to develop some model where uh, we choose the geometric parts create our geometry and run the simulation so till then stay tuned to our channel and i request you to subscribe to us so that we get more motivation to upload videos thank you